Hey YouTube, it's IC. Welcome to the 236th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. In today's video, we're going to get into iOS 9.0.2, the next untethered jailbreak, the iPhone 6s, as well as my all new giveaway. <laughs> All right, so to start off, I'm going to discuss my iPhone 6S giveaway more toward the end of this video. And if you guys are interested in that and you wanna enter, be sure to rate this video up and stick around to the end for complete details. I'm also going to announce when it will actually conclude. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So up first, iOS 9.0.2, the firmware that was released by Apple last week. So what does it feature? Well, if you're interested in all of the changes and additions iOS 9.0.2 sports over its predecessor being 9.0.1, then I will have all of the changes linked for you guys in the cards as well as down below in the more info so you can check it out there. But what about jailbreaking? Well, that's a great question. I created an in-depth video where I discuss the latest untethered jailbreak status, especially for iOS 9.0.2. So I highly recommend watching that video if you have yet to, but we're going to get into it briefly right now, as well as kind of discuss some new intel. Okay, so essentially the jailbreak developers are in stealth mode, so to speak. I've said this a number of times throughout the years, and I'll probably continue to say it as we move forward into the future, but essentially every time before a new jailbreak is released from the major developers, they remain silent. So what do I mean by that? Well, essentially they do not announce any sort of ETAs or status updates to essentially avoid creating toxic attitudes amongst jailbreakers and to kind of just avoid creating a frenzy altogether as well as a flood of questions. So they're not announcing anything. We do have three teams working on the next untethered jailbreak right now, including Taiji and Pangu, both of whom have actually released past jailbreak utilities and then we have Keen. They're kind of a wild card. We don't know for sure what they're going to end up doing. However, they do have former experience in hacking Apple's mobile software and they already expressed interest over the summer in creating a new iOS 9 jailbreak and possibly working in collaboration with Pangu. So in short, a new jailbreak is indeed being developed and both Taiji as well as Pangu inadvertently confirmed that they are definitely working on new jailbreak utilities. Again, for more information on that, check out my status update for iOS 9.0.2. Next, should you update to the firmware? Well, if you're on iOS 9, let me make it easy for you. Yeah, update to iOS 9.0.2 because it does correct very minor issues and complications with iOS 9 as well as 9.0.1. There's no reason not to update. Once new untethered jailbreak utility is released, you will definitely be covered if you decide to make the jump from iOS 9 or 9.0.1 to iOS 9.0.2. Again, remember it is a very minor release and it does not include any new security changes over either of the two previous versions of iOS 9. Now, if you're on iOS 8.4.1, that's a little bit of a different story. I'm not going to get into everything in this video, but essentially there is a developer who has made progress on a new untethered jailbreak, likely using one or more of Pangu's publicized exploits for iOS 8.4.1. Now, again, I'm not going to get into all of the information and I'm not going to really reveal or announce anything yet because we still are in the early stages and it appears as though he still does have quite a ways to go before a utility is released and made available to the public. If ever, we're just going to have to wait and see. Again, I will keep you guys completely updated along the way. And along the same lines, Apple closed the window for iOS 9.0 and iOS 8.4.1, actually following the release of 9.0.2, meaning if you're on that firmware or 9.0.1, you cannot go back to iOS 9.0 or 8.4.1 because again, Apple closed the signing window and they're no longer validating restores to earlier firmwares, including the first version of iOS 9 and 8.4.1. So if you're on iOS 9, you wanted to take advantage of the possible iOS 8.4.1 jailbreak that's coming up, unfortunately, you won't be able to. You'll just have to wait for the utility for iOS 9 from, again, either Pangu, Taiji, or Keen. And with that said, both 9.0.1 as well as 9.0.2 are very minor releases focused on improving the stability of iOS 9 in general. So that's actually some great news because iOS 9.1 is just just around the corner. And at that point, iOS 9 will be significantly more stable than it was when it was initially released to the public in September. So it makes sense for jailbreak developers to wait for iOS 9.1, especially since the iPad Pro, which will ship in November, will come pre-installed with at least iOS 9.1, confirmed by Apple, possibly 9.1.x, we just don't know yet. But iOS 9.1 will actually be released sooner than November, because guess what? The fourth gen Apple TV is going to be released 
for the end of this month, October. And to quickly set it up, as I confirmed during my unboxing of the device, you actually need to have a device running iOS 9.1. So we can expect the firmware to be released alongside the Apple TV or shortly before, again, toward the end of this month. And if that's the firmware jailbreak developers are targeting like they did last year with the first iOS 8 jailbreak for iOS 8.1, then we can expect a jailbreak relatively soon. Again, probably toward the end of this month or if we're pushing it toward the beginning of November. Remember though, iOS 9 does feature improved security measures dubbed rootless internally. It doesn't mean we won't be able to achieve root access as I hate snow has proven. The only thing is it will be harder to achieve an untethered jailbreak, especially by today's standards. And speaking of the Apple TV, I actually did a complete unboxing and short review of the device. I received one early. So if you're at all interested in watching that video, as well as seeing the device close up in 4k, then just be sure to check it out. Again, I will have it linked for you directly below. Now, next kind of toward the end of September on the 21st, there was actually news that was breaking that started to spread like wildfire in the world of jailbreaking, talking about a jailbreak bounty for iOS 9, meaning this one firm would pay up to $1 million for the creation of a new untethered jailbreak utility. And they'd actually do that three times. So they had the funds $3 million to spare for three untethered jailbreaks. And before you get your hopes up, let's actually talk about it because I promised you guys in a previous video that I would. According to the Zerodium, the firm in questions about us page, they state that they're quote, a privately held and venture backed startup founded by cybersecurity veterans with unparalleled experience in advanced vulnerability research and exploitation. We've created Zerodium to build a global community of talented and independent security researchers working together to provide the most up-to-date source of cyber security research and capabilities. Zerodium rewards independent researchers for their zero-day discoveries and then analyzes documents and reports all acquired security information along with protective measures and security recommendations to its clients. Now that part is very important as a part of the Zerodium security research feed. Now remember that word clients in just a second. As for the bounty itself, they state that quote, the million dollar iOS 9 bug bounty is tailored for experienced security researchers, reverse engineers, and jailbreak developers, and is an offer made by Zerodium to pay a total of 3 million US dollars in rewards for iOS exploits slash jailbreaks. Zerodium will pay out 1 million US dollars to each individual or team who creates and submits Zerodium an exclusive browser-based, that's also important, and untethered jailbreak for the latest Apple iOS 9 operating system and devices. And this bounty is open till the end of the month, the 31st, and the requirements are also as follows, that they actually turn in a complete jailbreak utilizing zero day exploits, which are previously undisclosed and undiscovered exploits, which essentially every jailbreak when it drops features zero day exploits, and that it defeats all of iOS 9 security, including ASLR, sandbox, rootless, code signing, and boot chain, and that its initial attack vector must be a website triggerable via a browser, or web view, or even a text message slash multimedia file sent through SMS or MMS, and that it function on all devices, including the new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. All right, so I know that's a lot of info. Most of it's BS and we can totally just disregard it. We only really need to focus on two things when analyzing this. Number one, they said that it's for their clients. And number two, they said that it must be an easy jailbreak to achieve. So something that can be applied through a web browser or web view or sent to the device via SMS or MMS remotely. So basically they're looking for user land jailbreaks, similar to what jailbreak me was how you visited a website and you were able to jailbreak it. Now, why would they be paying $1 million for this? Because they're going to resell it. It sounds like they're interested in brokeraging a deal with someone else who has significantly more funds, who has more than a million dollars to pay for a jailbreak. Well, essentially governments, governments who want to install spyware on devices because once they're jailbroken, guess what? iOS devices can actually have spyware installed on them, not really through 
Obsidia or any of the major sources, but it can definitely be done and packages can actually be developed for an iOS device that can exploit it and spy on the end user. Once it's jailbroken, they want something that really anyone can apply to it. So this will not have any impact on the public guys. We're not going to receive a new jailbreak for this. They're simply interested in reselling it, so to speak, to someone else who has more funds than they do. They're probably financed by some government or other independent firm to keep this jailbreak private, to keep it functioning, and to have their employees or agents actually utilize it to install spyware or possibly something else malicious on devices. Again, this will not have any impact as far as we're concerned. They will not publish it, even if they get a new jailbreak turned in from someone, whether it's a team or an individual. And again, Taiji as well as Pangu and probably Keen too will not be susceptible to this because they're already financed by other third-party Chinese companies with monetary interest in jailbreaking. So they will not sell their jailbreaks to Zerodium. So you can rest assured knowing that we are still going to get a new jailbreak even with this bounty out there and we're not going to see anything from the bounty itself. Now let's move on and quickly discuss the iPhone 6s and the iPhone 6s Plus. This is one of the questions I get asked the most often. To Plus or not to Plus? Which one should I get? Well, essentially, let me break it down for you. The major difference is the 5.5 inch display of the Plus versus the 4.7 inch display of the non Plus. If you can handle the bigger size of the iPhone 6S Plus, definitely go with that because there are actually three advantages it has over the iPhone 6S. First and most notably, the battery life. So the battery life on the 6S Plus is definitely superior when compared to the 6S. We have an extra hour on Wi-Fi or two hours on LTE and three more hours of video playback, 30 of audio and 20 more of talk time when over 3G. Next, we also have a pixel density of 401 PPI versus 326 PPI on the 6S. So we will definitely have sharper and crisper images on the Plus than on the 6S. And finally, the camera has optical image stabilization, which is great, especially for when taking 4K video. So it will not be as shaky if you're walking or doing action shots. And while the 6S does have digital image stabilization, it does not compare to optical. So if you guys want the better phone between the two and you can handle the bigger size, go with the Plus. It's definitely my recommendation. I haven't looked back or regretted it once. I went with the Plus for the iPhone 6. And again, I absolutely love it. I went with the Plus plus this time around as well. And speaking of this time around, if you guys are interested in additional details on the iPhone 6s as well as my unboxings, then definitely check out my complete playlist. I will have it linked down below as well as in the cards for you guys right up there. So again, check that out. And as far as the giveaway is concerned, it's very easy to enter. All you have to do is rate this video up and then just download free apps fast or rather set up your account with free apps fast and get started by downloading one sponsored app or more. Once you do that, you can redeem the points that you accumulate for some great prizes, including paid apps or gift cards. But what you need to do for the giveaway is just navigate to the fourth tab at the bottom, grab the unique part of your referral code, what appears after the equals symbol and post it in the comment section of the video I have linked for you guys in the cards as well as the annotations on this video. Once you do that, you'll be automatically entered to win. That giveaway will conclude toward the end of this month, actually before the Apple TV is released. I'm going to announce my new Apple TV fourth gen giveaway then, and that giveaway will be over. The winner will be randomly selected and I'll send off the iPhone 6S to them. All right, that concludes this video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you wanna be updated more often, such as when I release videos similar to this one, just be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have have yet to. And if you want even more updates, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.